Adidas girl through and through, and I have been slowly building my shoe collection. I have a few pair of Sambas, and I recently got the Gazelle and realized this fits a little bit different. Then I started looking at some of the Spezial styles and thought, if Adidas comes out with a drop of these that I want, I need to know my size. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a comprehensive review on the fit and sizing between the Samba, Gazelle, and Spezial. Now everyone's feet are different, of course, and this is obviously gonna be based on my experience with my foot. So I am a very true to size, size six. I'd say 99% of the time, my shoes are size six, and very rarely do I need to stray away from this. I think what's also important to mention that I don't think everyone thinks about is the shape of your foot. My foot shape is an Egyptian foot, which basically means that my toes slope downwards. Each toe is slightly shorter than the other toe. There are other foot shapes such as the Roman foot, the square foot, and the Greek foot. And depending on which shape of foot you have, how your feet feel in the shape of the shoe is going to be different. I'd say I have a pretty normal width foot, definitely not narrow. If anything, it maybe leans a little bit more on the wide side. All of this I think is important for you to know. So when I go through the fit and sizing of each shoe, you know that it's based off of my foot template. So starting with the ultimate OG, the Adidas Samba. For me, these ones fit the best. I would say these are very true to size. They have the perfect amount of wiggle room for my toes. They feel very kind of snug and secure around my foot, but not too tight. And the tongue is quite flexible as well. This is the insole and you can see that they do not have any extra arch support. So it's just a flat insole. There's no extra cushioning there that's what it looks like. So this insole is a little bit narrow. I'm gonna compare it to one that I love, which is from my Morel hiking boots. You can see that the Adidas insole does not completely wrap around my foot. It actually kind of stops right by my arch. The width is not really wide enough for the arch section of my foot. You can see it doesn't really wrap around my arch. Whereas with the Morel insole, you can see that it fully hugs my foot and wraps around that middle arch part. And the way that they made this shoe, the insole is actually not flush with the side of the shoe. So unless your foot is narrow and kind of neatly fits within the width of their insole, you'll kind of feel it on the side of your arch. Compare this to my New Balance sneaker, for example, where the insole is completely flush with the side of the shoe. So even if your foot is a bit wider than the insole, you won't feel it against your arch because it's completely flush with the side of the shoe. So here's a comparison of the Adidas insole and my Morel insole. You can see how much wider the Morel one is, which is really great for me because it just fully hugs my foot. Feeling the side of the insole against the arch of my foot did feel annoying to me when I first got these. And I actually just put in the Morel insole instead and it completely solved the issue. The back of the Adidas insoles are sticky, but they're not exactly fully glued down. So it's pretty easy to remove them and just put in one that you prefer instead. The Samba has seven lace eyelets on either side of the shoe, and I think that's kind of the perfect amount for me. It just makes my foot feel really secure and snug in the shoe. Overall, I'd say that the Sambas fit the most true to size. If you are in between sizes and you want a bit of a looser fit, then I'd go up. If you want a bit of a tighter fit, I'd go down. They fit great right out the box, but if you have a little bit of wider feet, I would suggest doing what I did, which is just switching out the insole for a wider, more comfortable one, just so you don't feel the end of the insole kind of pressing against your arch. Moving on to the Gazelle, these are the exact same length as the Sambas. Even though they're the same length, the overall feel of them is looser around the foot. The tongue also is stiffer than on the Samba. I don't think it's made of leather like the rest of the shoe, but it has a really cool, unique texture design which I think is special to the gazelle style. And the way that it's cut, even though the tongue is a bit stiffer, I don't feel it at all. It doesn't bother me. The gazelle insole actually does have arch support. You can see that it has this little bit of padding right here in the arch. Otherwise, it is the exact same length and width as the Samba insole. The only difference being it does have that extra padding in the arch. Like I said, because these insoles are actually not quite 
wide enough for me at where my arch of the foot is, this part kind of sits a bit weird. Like depending on the width of your foot, the arch support might not actually be under your arch. The Gazelle also only has six eyelets on either side instead of seven like the Samba. So because it also has an overall looser fit and one less eyelet, to get it to feel snug and secure the way that Sambas do, I do have to tie the laces quite a bit tighter. So with these ones, instead of replacing the Adidas insole, I actually just put my Morel insole on top of the Adidas one, and that gets them to fit the same way that the Sambas do out of the box. So in general, these are true to size in terms of length. They do feel more roomy around the foot, but if you add an insole, you can get them to feel the same way that the Sambas do. I would still stay true to size for these because you don't want the length to be any shorter. You need that amount of wiggle room for your toes. And if you do feel like it is a bit loose around your foot, you can always throw an insole inside and get it to feel similar to the Sambas. And last we have the Speziales. These ones definitely fit a bit longer. You can see side by side with the Samba that it is slightly longer. And I know that it's longer because if I take out the insole and replace it with the Morel one, there's actually a little bit of gap between the insole and the toes because it's slightly bigger than the size six insole. So for me, because the regular size six fits a little bit long, I just can't get these ones to fit right. Even if I tie the laces really tightly, my heel is still lifting when I walk. There's still too much room around my toes. It just feels too long. Comfort wise, they're definitely the most cushy. They not only have the arch support, but they also have extra padding on the heel as well. These ones also have seven lace eyelets like the Samba. And because the whole shoe is suede, everything just feels very flexible and soft and cushy. But because they're so cushy, if you do have a little bit of a wider foot like me, they might feel more kind of narrow and tighter around the arch. Again, this is something that can totally be solved by simply switching out the insole to one that you prefer. What that won't do, however, is change the length. So with these ones, I would say they do fit long and I would size down half a size and then I would switch out the insole with my own insole so that they would feel more comfortable around my width of foot. And then again, just comparing all the different insoles, the Samba, the Gazelle, and the Spezial, they're all exactly the same size. They are the same width and they are the same length. So I think when people say that one shoe fits more narrow than the other, there are factors like whether or not the insole has cushioning or what material the actual shoe is that play a role in how tight it feels around your foot. So in summary, the Sambas and Gazelles have a true to size length and the Gazelle has an overall looser fit around the foot than the Samba. I would stay true to size for both of these styles since the length is accurate. And if the Gazelle feels too loose, you can always add an insole in there for a more snug fit. Even though the insole length is the same, the Spezials seem to fit half a size longer than the other two. It does have the most snug fit around your foot because it is the most cushioned. I'd go half a size down since the regular size is too long. And if you have a bit of a wider foot, I would replace the insole with one that you prefer instead. All right, that's it. Hopefully you can take what I have shared and apply it to your width and shape of foot to figure out what size and what shoe style is best for you. If you found the video helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.